So, Familia, have you ever had a time where you've been like a really snappy? Like you are internally popping off on people, <laughs> being rude, just going, 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 uh, not kind of hating everything you're doing, wondering what is the meaning of life? Well, I have been there. Uh, one too many times. <laughs> I feel like every video I have a confession corner and that is one of my confessions. And so I started doing a self-care routine because I knew that I couldn't go on like that without energy, um, just being rude to people <laughs> and even the closest people that I love and not being able to be a great leader in certain areas or being a great sister or being a great daughter. And so I said, you know what? I have to change some things. The pandemic came and how many of y'all know the pandemic exposed a lot of things, <laughs> the good and the bad. And so I had to rethink like, okay, just what is working and what's not and let's see what we can change for the better for your life to be better and also for those around you because how many of y'all know they don't have to deal with our madness so i started with my self-care routine and what i do is i try to do it twice a week i schedule it in my phone in my calendar and i block off a certain time that is just for me uh, so if anything comes up, anybody wants to go out or I have certain calls I have to make or certain meetings I have to attend, I make sure that that is blocked off. So that is just my time and I don't schedule anything in there. And so the first thing I do is I start by journaling. I am a person who has so many things in my head. Um, I'm when we're going when we're going going is there's these thoughts and these feelings and these emotions i haven't processed and i'm going from event to event or when i'm working long hours um, i don't take time to process that because it's one thing to another from my responsibilities to my duties to the things that i have to do at home things that i do with friends and so i take that time to journal and write it all out. I'll write my fears, I'll write my insecurities, I'll write my concerns, I'll write um, new ideas that I have that I wanna bring to you guys. And I bring all the good and the bad and I write it down. And what that helps me with is that as I clear out my mind and put it all on paper, it makes way for new ideas and new perspectives and new ways of thinking and now as i process those things i know where i'm at emotionally where i'm at mentally what i need to change what is the victories that i have overlooked because i've been going 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 that are actually good in my life so it shows me the good and the bad i put it all on paper and then i'm able to walk more freely and then get new ideas and new thoughts and so that's what i do with journaling the second thing i do is i love to read a good book <laughs> there's actually a post um that i posted on my instagram about i love all cheesy things and so that's just something that i like to do it brings me joy uh, we all know that when we have all these responsibilities and duties sometimes i don't know if the joy leaves or what happens <laughs> but i get refueled by that by reading my favorite books and so i'll read cheesy christian books or like romantic books but like pg none of that crazy stuff no 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 and <laughs> i'll read those or i'll read something that i know will be good for my mind i'll read I think the last book I read was a biography about a CEO from a Fortune 500 company. And it was cool because I was able to relate to her and get some wisdom from that book. And so that's how I renew myself and renew my thoughts by the reading cheesy books that just bring me joy and I'm able to bring joy to others. Or I read um, biographies or nonfiction to gain that wisdom and be able to say, oh, okay, I can 
be a better leader or I can be a better friend or just gain more wisdom. I do love growth and I love to grow, so that helps me. And then the last thing I love to do in my self-care routine is watch funny videos. <laughs> like I mentioned before, life isn't always easy. There's really, really tough times. There's tough things going on in the world. There's tough things in our families. There's tough things within ourselves that we're battling. And I know sometimes I get so depleted from that, trying to be everything to everyone. And so with funny videos, it just makes me laugh. It makes me <laughs> be able to just have a moment where I'm laughing off what somebody else is doing and just be there, just be there, watch it, laugh along and bring some of that joy also along um, as I go for the rest of the week or the month or the year. So that is my self-care routine. I've made sure to prioritize. I'm not gonna say that I am perfect at it because things do happen, but I have made it a priority to attend to those things. Um, it could be on a different day that I choose to do it or however it works for your schedule, but I know it was something important to me and that I am intentional about. And honestly, it has helped me so, so much. I feel like I'm growing in areas that I wasn't growing in before in this aspect of the thoughts that I was having were starting to be really, really negative. <laughs> and I have seen growth in that because now when I do have those negative thoughts, I'm, it's easier for me to replace because as I journaled, I've understand when those thoughts come up, those negative thoughts that I was having, um, I can able to be like, okay, no, uh, that's just an emotion I was having but it's gonna be better. And I switch my perspective on the way I see that problem. And so I've seen the growth in that. So yeah, that was it, familia. If you have a self-care routine, let me know. I would love to hear all about it in the comments below. And if you don't have a self-care routine, well, you're still loved and you're still part of this family. <laughs> I will see you soon, familia. Love you. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one.